Good morning, guys. It's back here. And welcome to the vlog. This is vlog number 53, and it is Thursday, I think. Is it Thursday? Yes, Thursday, August 22nd, and it is 8.22. Um, as you can tell, I'm not, like, completely put together this morning. Um, I wasn't feeling great yesterday. Uh, I was going to do a Improv 2 extra stream, but it was a really long day, and I, I may... I don't know if I'm getting sick or if it was just I was feeling sick yesterday, but I came home, took some medicine, and uh, slept a lot of yesterday uh, just because I wasn't feeling well. So hopefully, because I'm unsure if I'm going to get through my stream Friday, so hopefully everything will work out and it'll all get done. Um, so like I said, long day yesterday. Um, what did I did I do anything interesting? Not not really. Um, Besides resting and sleeping and going to work in the morning, I didn't really do anything else. But I did, actually, I do, was doing some reading uh, on the interwebs. And I seen that uh, some uh, falling through uh, went through between Sony and Disney about Spider-Man. And who's, I don't know if it's the director or, or, or who's writing it. Uh, I only read a little bit of uh, what was going on because I've seen people making different posts about it. I, like talking about doing petitions and all this stuff and I was like what is going on um, and it, like you know the article headlines are like Sony and Disney had a fallen out blah 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 um, but it looks like they were discussing you know profit margins and you know how much you know the split would be between each company and all that <sighs> and I guess that they couldn't figure out a like uh, an agreement, I guess they had been doing Disney gets 5% and I guess they wanted to change to 50%. So, you know, it's a big bump, like jump up, but Spider-Man movies have been doing really good. Uh, Far From Home was excellent. Uh, same with uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. They were great movies and I'm curious, I, I guess the director who did, I think it's the director, I'd have to, don't quote me on that, but someone who was on the movies, <sighs> who I guess played a vital role in them, will not be doing the next two, is what it was sounding like. So, um, and I, get, I don't know if these, like, these are 100% official yet. Um, I know Disney has not made a comment about it. So they might still work something out. Um, I guess it's pretty early in the discussion on um, what may or may not happen. But I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, it kind of shows you, you know, that working with each other kind of thing and how that's going to go and how, you know, just because the movies did really well, uh, stuff can still change. I was really excited to see, you know, what the next movies in the Marvel MCU would be. Uh, Spider-Man has been really good, and I was hoping that we'll be seeing some more uh, Sony characters or Sony-owned characters uh, in the future. Like a real, like... I don't know if Marvel owns them or if Sony still owns them, but X Men hadn't been doing very good. I seen was the last one Black Phoenix was that the last one? I think it was um, with Jean Grey, and it did terribly. So I was hoping for you know, even though they just did it, another revamp of those characters, <sighs> or just see them in the MCU films to get them like get the ball back rolling and give them like a, a little bit of light. That actually makes sense for them. Uh, when they just revamped the X Men, I liked. I didn't mind Days of Future Past. You know, I uh, thought it was pretty good. I liked some of the characters, some of the choices they made. That was an interesting way to reset the universe. But it uh, kind of went. You know, it was doing good, and then it kind of went downhill. Uh, First Class, I thought was pretty good. Uh, wasn't a bad movie, but Apocalypse and Black Phoenix were real bad. So. I don't know exactly what this is going to mean. If Kind of what I was reading, uh, it seems like they had some kind of deal where uh, different characters could play in both like both sides' movies. But I don't know if that's fallen through. Also, um, kind of an interesting little like uh, movie quandary. And it shows that it's kind of hard to work out these kind of deals. When you now have, like, Spider-Man, I felt like played an important part in things like Endgame, Civil War, 
uh, in the two movies and like foreshadowed him being part of something bigger. But I guess since they didn't really announce it, like he was in the movies, that he was, you know, going to be some kind of hinge pin on like the next Avenger team or something like that, that it could be kind of wrote out at this point. But Tom Holland does a great job of Spider-Man. So it's kind of sad to see, like, for there to be a possibility that we won't see any movies with him or any at the same quality uh, as we have been seeing. But that's kind of a little bit of my opinion on the matter. Uh, I, I like movies. I don't watch. I haven't watched all movies, but I have. Me and Nicole have a pretty good uh, collection. Actually, you can see some of those. Actually, those might not be movies. Those, the bottom shelves are movies. The top shelves are games. But we have another shelf in there uh, with just movies on them. And I've always loved watching movies. Um, so it's always kind of interesting when you see all these disputes and these fallen outs and what else is coming out. Uh, another movie I'd be excited to go do some more looking up on uh, that I've kind of ignored for a while is Avatar. Uh, not The Last Airbender, but The Blue People. Um, the first one was so successful. I think it was just overtaken by... Uh, in game, not too long ago. However, I know they're doing three more. They're doing some sequels, um, but I don't know how they're gonna do. I feel like the excitement for the movie has kind of dropped off. If they would have done it, you know, a little ways afterwards, uh, you might have still had some of those interested parties. But it's been so long. I don't think as many people are gonna care to go see it. Uh, you know, standards have changed. What was really nice when it came out is probably not going to look the same. And, you know, people are going to have to go rewatch the old movie, uh, you know, to remember the plot point. And I don't know why exactly Cameron's taking so long. Uh, on the first one, it was because he was trying to remake new, like, new equipment and stuff to have better, you know, a better product overall. I don't know if he's doing the same thing with these ones and we're expecting to see some kind of huge jump in quality. Or if it's just taking a while and he wants to put about back to back to back, I'm not sure. Um, but that's another one I don't hear a lot about that actually had a huge impact. And, you know, like most grossing movies of all time, I think it's number two now. So another one of those interesting things that uh, I see in movies, like in movie culture, I guess. I don't think that's the right word. Financials. Whatever word I'm thinking about, like the movie market and how release dates and all that stuff will matter and advertisement. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this baby up. i got to get it edited and released. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.